Hi, my name is Laura Sonnerborg, and I'm a member of the class of 2027. I'm a recipient of the Johnson Peterson Fellowship, and this summer I'm doing research under that fellowship with Professor Tiffany Grabelski. What our research entails is looking into when Gustavus, New Ulm, there was kind of two parallel projects going on at the same time in around 2009, why they wanted to get wind turbines, how they went about trying to acquire them, and why both of those projects ended up not working out and what opposition looked like. Today we're visiting the Jeffers Turbines in Minnesota. This is a pretty big wind facility with about 20 turbines, and we wanted to come out here and look at the turbines today because they were built in a similar time to the conflict we're taking a look at in our research. When we were driving into Jeffers, we could see these turbines from multiple miles away, but just in the distance. Um, and some people are concerned about wind turbines, and we've seen this in the academic literature, is because they're claimed to be an eyesore or that they're claimed to be distracting. This wind field has about 20 turbines. Right now we're next to this big one here, and you can hear a little bit of this uh, low frequency noise. It's called infrasound. It's a constant sound, but a lot of people are opposed to wind turbines or at least having them close to where they live because of that sound. I, just like anyone else, really would love to see climate change mitigation happening as fast as possible, but it's important to understand the things that might preclude that from happening. 